Buzz now. Police at a university in Maryland are asking the community to be on the lookout for a matchmaker mm, mom. How dare her. Seth Phillips joins us now to discuss that and more in the buzz today. Welcome, Seth. Hey, ladies, glad to be back for day number two. Yes. That's right. On the buzz. <laughs> All right, so here's what's going on in Maryland. The woman is reportedly trolling the campus to find a date for her son, and it's gotten so bad. Helicopter mom indeed. It's happened enough times. <laughs> Police have now alerted the entire campus. It's getting so crazy. This is going on at Towson University. Uh, the campus police there putting out these surveillance images of the woman who's been asking if someone would date her son. She's even reportedly been showing women pictures of her son. Uh, while some clearly find the whole thing funny, authorities are not taking any chances. They're putting out an alert campus wide to heighten awareness that this mm. is happening. I guess it has gotten a little weird, you know? Oh, yeah, man. that is this a little. Is, it's a little. It's some of the women much. or the girls on campus probably feel a little intimidated sure. mm -hmm. or crossing the line a little there. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I but, think it's but, a little but much. Just for argument's sake, let's say it really is somebody's mother who's like, I need to get a, a date for my son. Can you imagine what he feels like? That's just what yeah. I was yeah. thinking. What is he thinking about this Because I'm thinking about my mother going around my college campuses and being like, hey, <laughs> Seth needs a date. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I would be like so distraught over it. It's just mortified. You'd be like, what's wrong with me? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I can do this on my own. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. He can get a date, but wow. Yeah. Okay, it's All pretty right. bad when they have to put out a campus alert about it. Can you imagine if that happened at UK? We'd be like, yo, dial it back. <laughs> Mom. We'll do it. We'll do a story on it. Yes. All right. The obituary of a New Orleans Saints fan who died hours before the Super Bowl kickoff described his death as the ultimate boycott. Oh. 65 year old Henry Jalme Sr. did pass away on Sunday, February 3rd at 1 p.m. Of course, that was just about five hours from the start of the big game. His loved ones wrote in his obituary, Henry was, quote, determined not to watch Super Bowl 53. Now, many people felt the Saints were cheated out of getting to the big game by some missed calls, that one big one, of course. Mm. Houdat Nation calling him a true hero. Wow. <laughs> hey, I wow. Guess they saw some silver lining, I guess. You know, hey, he got out uh, of here in time. Yeah, and I mean, he clearly was in on it. You know, I'm sure he had told his family, sure. here's what I want in my obituary. You yeah, know, I mean, he probably it's knew it was coming. So he's like, hey, let's uh, let's go ahead and make this viral. Yeah. Talk about how we're, I'm definitely, I'm definitely now not watching right. yeah. this Super Bowl. Yeah. yeah. Well, I so. feel like it's just so many people, Saints fans, just were so, sure. I mean, the amount of loss and sadness they mm -hmm. felt not getting there. And this is ensuring it's yeah. staying in the headlines the, even the, longer. The will to sure. Live. The bars yes. in New Orleans were actually playing the Super Bowl from 2009 when they went oh instead of the actual gosh. Super Bowl so that way they could oh, relive. Uh, at some point you just got to gotta yeah. face the truth. It's nice. like the, we've got to change it. The, the Saints deserved it, man. <laughs> okay, our last buzz story today. Few would ever describe Bulldogs as agile, but Rudy the Bulldog isn't your typical Bulldog. A border collie named Verb won the Westminster Dog Show Agility Contest on Saturday, yet the internet chose its own champion. Here he is. Rudy tackled the course with jaw-dropping agility and endurance for his breed. Despite going off course briefly, Rudy recovered for a remarkable showing. Bulldog enthusiasts were beyond impressed, and so was everyone else at the show and watching on TV. If you'd told me a bulldog could go this fast yes. and was this, like, cut, cut, juke, <laughs> what? I could watch this all day. He's so cute. Oh, all day. So, Look at so him go. Bulldogs are not supposed to be this. I, I guess know. not. I, mean, I don't. I guess just their build. I mean, yeah, I, I guess. I don't know, and they are low to the ground, so like yeah, make those they're, they're turns. Short snout, but can't him. breathe quite as well. I mean, <laughs> look at this. One of my neighbors just got a bulldog puppy, and I saw him walking it recently. And he said, so "I was saying, does he, you know, pass gas and burp already? Because you know they're notorious." And he was like, "Oh yeah, he burps, he farts, he grunts. All he's like, it's just, I, what's the problem with him? So. Well, yeah, this one though. Wow. He's, he's setting the bar high. He's <laughs> raising the bar." What a cutie. Thank you for that. Breaking stereotypes about bulldogs every day. Thank you, Rudy. And that'll do it for the buzz today. Stay with us. You're watching the 4 o'clock news. We'll be right back.